Uh, I study on the, the Innovation Design Engineering course, which is a dual master's between Imperial College London and the Royal College of Art. And this module is the RTSIC uh, Rio Tinto Sports Innovation Challenge. And it's, um, about in, it's inspired by Paralympic sport and providing future technologies for sport. I'm also on the Innovation Design Engineering course. For our project, our team was looking at the sport of clay pigeon shooting. We focused on goalball, which is a sport for visually impaired athletes. There are teams of three, and their challenge is to score a goal against uh, the other team uh, using a ball, and the ball is rigged with bells, so it's a sound-based sport. And the brief that we were looking at was total inclusion. So the idea was to redesign the sport in such a way that anyone can participate on an even playing field using exactly the same equipment and with the exact same rules, regardless of their level of disability or ability. Uh, we've developed uh, an augmented reality device which is worn by the audience and it links them in real time to the athlete and lets them experience what the athlete is experiencing. Yuta represents our goalball player and in his goggles he has microphones left and right which pick up the sound and on his, uh, around his body he's wearing a heart rate monitor which reads his uh, heart rate and the information is sent to Orchestra, the device Jenny's wearing. Um, so the sound comes through this module and is played through the stereo speakers in the headset and the heart rate is uh, felt beating on her chest in real time. So what we've developed is a system that allows an athlete to aim and fire a shotgun using only their head. So by moving their head left and right, they control the yaw of a platform that, that moves to aim the gun. And by moving the head up and down, uh, they can control the pitch. There's an accelerometer mounted on the uh, shooting goggles, um, which measures the position of the head. So when Colin tilts his neck to the left, the platform will pan round, similarly to the right, and up and down. So the platform will track his head movements and allow him to fire the gun. I think that the most valuable aspect of this technology is that it represents what we see as the fact that disabled and able-bodied sports do not need to be separate. That we can introduce sports that allow a much broader section of the population to participate together than our current rather narrow conception of what constitutes legitimate sport allows. Because it's difficult for the audience to engage with goalball because they usually need to be quiet, our device will let them be linked to the experiences of the player. Um, feeling their kind of physical achievements and their, you know, joys and sorrows as they play the game um, through physical sensations realized through our device. 